your girl Chetas Diary here again today. So, how are you all doing? By the title of this video, you guys know what is going down here on this channel today. So, I'll be cutting a simple piece, a pyjamas, trouser, and shirt for a client. So, I want to take you guys along on how I cut the trouser and then the shirt of these PJs. So here with me, I'm rocking a piece from Jetta's Diary. This is a kimono which was made by me. If you'd like to see a video on how I cut this beautiful piece, comment down below. So guys, here with me, I have my fabrics. So I'm using uh, Dutchess satin. So why I chose this because it lasts longer. The other satins I saw in the market were not good enough for me. The qualities were not what I actually wanted. So I went with Dutchess satin. So this is the fabric I am using. And here with me, I have my measurement book. You all know we need measurements to cut whatsoever we are cutting here on this table. And then I have my scissors. My tape is hung around my neck. And my piece of chalk to mark whatsoever I am cutting. So if you'd like to see the process on how I sew or sew this piece, do well to comment down below, guys. I'll show you guys my sewing process. So let's get straight into this video, but please do not forget to my returning subscribers, you guys are welcome back to my new subscribers. You guys are welcome to my channel. Just like I said, my name is Cheta Chi, Cheta for short. So do well to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share, comment, and tell me what you'd like to see next on this video. So to let you guys know, this is actually a lifestyle channel, not just a sewing or a fashion designing channel. This is the way I show you how my everything I do in my life works. You guys will see more of my sewing skills and then my cutting skills. So let's get straight into this video. Let me show you guys how I cut this beautiful fabric, how I turn it into a pyjamas or PG. So let's get straight into this video, guys. So let's get straight into this video. So this is my fabric. I'm folding this into two. So I'm done folding my material. So it's time everything I need to mark on this shows are the easy steps on how to cut this, how to cut a trouser. So guys, you know that if you're very, very observant, you know that the back of your trousers are usually longer than the front. Why is that? Because of the butt area. So it will relax. If you make them equal, then you're going to be wearing a low waist a low waist trouser so we will not want to do that right so in this we have two things we do we have to measure the descending and then ascending order for the front of your clothes this should be for the front then here this part is for the back so this is the shorter part the shorter part for the front of your trouser and this is for the back so just watch how i cut this simple material for this client so here this person's measurement is the full length of her trouser her trouser length is mm, 40 this is actually a little girl so I won't be marking 40 because of the same allowance and then the folding allowance. So I'll be marking 42. And then there is what we call the clutch depth, which is, in other words, if you understand, it's called an OC, which is the part of the trouser, the flap of your trouser. So this pretty girl's own is 10. So I'm marking 10. Marking 10. So every measurement we divide by 4. 
but the waist, the hip measurements, everything, we divide all of them by four. So this particular trouser is going to be having a band, but I'll cut the band separately after I cut this trouser. So it's a free trouser. We all know that pages are very, should be very, very free for comfort on every on anyone's body. So this is this is the descending not um length for the front and then this is the crotch depth which is 10 and then our mark on this we mark our hip on the crotch depth so this is where i'll mark the hip the waist of my trouser so because this trouser is having an elastic so i'm going to do the waist of this trouser same measurements with the same measurements with the hip so when i once i put in the elastic it will align with everything so now i've done you've seen the waist the hip and then the full length so now let's get straight into the real measurement the measurement okay. to that measurement this is the real measurement of her waist but since i'm not using her waist i'm using her hip to measure her hips is 34 so we'll go straight down if you're if you're not having a calculator close by and your head is not that fast to calculate because me I, I i i hardly calculate with i i don't easily calculate things with my head you see that i use my tape to calculate for appropriate measurement so this is the hip and then i did i bend my tape to that point then this is the half half of 34 is 17 right you move again see this is what you have here half of it then half of 17 is 8.5 so this is where i mark my 8.5 i'm so sorry guys my phone ran out of space so that is why my video got got short i didn't i didn't i didn't notice it had stopped recording until when i decided to go and check my phone by then i was done cutting so but it still doesn't matter i'll just tell you how i got to this level so I was showing you guys how to actually cut your, um, divide your measurement, right? I told you that this particular person has, her waist is, her hip is 34 because I'm using the hip measurement for the waist because this trouser is going to be having elastic. Because if I should use the actual waist measurement, it won't give me what I want. The clothes will be tight and it will not pass through because this person has hips. So I need to use the same measurement for the hip so the trouser will pass through the hip to get to the waist that's why it will be having elastic at least to hold the waist it will be big so i had to use my waist my hip measurement i divided it by four her measurement is actually 34 you go you look at your tape you check 34 this is the easy way but if you can actually divide easily with your head you can just use your head and do 34 divided by 4, how many you get? So this is for 34. You join your tape to that point of 34, on that inch of 34. You press this point, and then half of 34 is 17, right? Then half of 17, and that's what I want to get. That is 8.5. So this is it. This is how I got to this level. This is how I got my this actual measurement, this particular measurement here, and then on this same line for the club clutch clutch depth, excuse sorry, where you mark your clutch depth, right? This is actually the same place you mark your tie. So this person's tie is 27. So 27 again divide by two. We're only dividing the hip, the Tie measurement and shoulder measurement. That's a, that is the only measurement on dresses or anything you're doing as a fashion designer. You divide by two. So the tie is 27. So 27 divided by two should give me 13 and a half. So this is my 13 and a half. So I have to just put small seam allowance that we use to sew here and then there. So that how that was what I got. And then this point is where I put my 8.5 again and with my little allowance. So I join it from here like this to this point. To this point. That is where I cut out this thing you're seeing here. 
This is how I cut out this thing. Let me actually check it this one. Mm -hmm. So this one actually I cut out. So that is just it for this. So I'll cut out the extension, the band for this dress. So that is it. That is it for trouser cutting, guys. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys how I sew this trouser. I'll show you guys the sewing process. But for now, this is the cutting process. Thank you guys for watching. Do well to subscribe to my channel, like, share, turn on post notification bell so you don't miss out when I post on YouTube. Also turn it on so that when I post the sewing process of this trouser, you're going to see, and when I cut the shirt, you're going to see the the upload. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay beautiful, guys. Peace out.